Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Erin Spain and today I'm going to be sharing my master bedroom makeover with you. Now I moved into this house almost three months ago and I've been living in pure chaos ever since so I am so relieved to have this room done. I have to give a major shout out to today's sponsor Wagner Spray Tech. I am going to be sharing a couple of their products with you throughout the video that I use to make this makeover go so much faster and easier so I'm excited to share that with you. In the meantime if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel and click the bell and let's get started. Okay, first let's take a look at the room right before I moved in. It was totally just a blank slate. And then this is what it's looked like for the past three months because the movers just plopped everything down and that's where it stayed. Remember, this is a no judgment zone. No judging, thank you. <laughs> anyway, so the first thing I had to do was clear out the room to paint. So I basically just hauled everything out to the hallway and made as much space as I could to lay down drop cloths and all of that for painting. After I cleared out the room as much as I could anyway, I used a Swiffer to sweep the floor and the baseboards and the walls and just get all of the dust off before applying paint. I also removed the blinds because I had to paint the window frames and the crown molding and the doors as well because they are sort of an off-white creamy color so I knew that next to the new paint color they were going to look yellow so I needed to paint those white. Okay, it is painting day. The room is pretty much prepped for the most part. Uh, so I'm gonna start painting and uh, let me just show you the hot mess that we've got going on here right now. Hang on, I'm gonna turn you around. <laughs> All right, so here's what we have going on here. Nice big mess, but the real mess, let me show you <laughs> where I had to stash everything. Everything's out in the hallway. Look at that, <laughs> including our dirty laundry. Since I plan to use a sprayer on the baseboard, I taped down some paper to protect the floor. As I mentioned earlier, Wagner Spray Tech was kind enough to sponsor this video and they sent me their Flexio 4000 paint sprayer. This made the job go so much faster. It comes with two different size canisters. I used the smaller one since this is a smaller job. And I painted the baseboards bare paint in the color white 52 in a satin finish. And I will link to this particular paint sprayer in the description box below. One of the great things about this paint sprayer is since I was using interior latex paint, I didn't have to thin the paint at all. It also came with these liners, which made cleanup so much quicker and easier. All right, let's see this paint sprayer in action. Okay, so I've done this side of the room and it took just a couple minutes. It was so fast. I'm gonna brush some of the baseboards where I'm not able to um, really cover things very well, like over here by my bed and stuff like that. I can't move that out of the way. And anyway, it'll just be easier to move over with the brush some of it, but this side of the room, already done. Okay, so I'm sort of working in sections here. Right now I'm working on this side of the room and I have done some of the baseboards. Right now I'm gonna apply paint to a couple of the walls using the Wagner Paint Stick Easy Twist. So let me show that to you right now. Okay, so I'm getting ready to assemble it, but this is the Paint Stick Easy Twist here. It makes painting walls so fast and easy. Okay, so we have the Paint Stick Easy Twist here. So, this is gonna clip onto the paint can and then it's gonna to attach to the paint stick and the paint is gonna get sucked up this tube up into here and then we're going to pull on the handle and it's gonna suck paint into this tube here which will then dispense onto the paint roller. I painted the walls with bare marquee paint color match to Benjamin Moore's gray owl in an eggshell finish. And I will link to the paint stick easy twist in the description box below. I used an angle brush to cut in around the edges, 
But you guys, this cut down on my paint time so much. I've used this a couple of times in the past and I can't get over how much faster painting goes. And I was able to get away with just applying one coat because the coverage is so good. All right, making some progress. Now, here's why I had to paint the trim and doors white. It's the same issue I had in the rest of the house. That's the original color of the trim. See how yellow it looks <laughs> next to the new paint color? And then I've painted the door white, so see the difference. After I finished painting, it was time to start making sense of all the chaos and putting things back in their place, putting the blinds back on the windows, and just arranging everything. I get a lot of questions about that card catalog that you see in my room, and I have a blog post about it, but it's a really old post. And the long story short is, my grandparents got it from an abandoned school building owned by a family friend. They got it for free, and we brought it down from Indiana to Atlanta in pieces. It was in really bad shape, and so I restored it, and it's one of my favorite pieces that I own. I used to store craft supplies in the drawers, and right now I'm storing office supplies and photography stuff. I did buy a couple of new pieces for the room, like this little mid-century style dresser, but for the most part, I tried to just use things that I already had so I could finish this room on a budget. I made this abstract art, and I have a video on that, which I will link for you. And I recovered the wishbone chairs. I actually love that indigo shibori fabric, and I wish I could keep it. It's just not going to match the new space. So you'll see in a few minutes, I covered that particular fabric with green fabric to coordinate with the new room decor. But I'm leaving that shibori fabric on in case I ever want to go back to it, because I really do like it. If you've never recovered the seat of a chair before like this, it's super simple and easy. It's a great beginner DIY project. You just unscrew it and pop it out and then you staple on your new fabric with a staple gun. I find it easiest to go around each side and staple in the middle and then go back and do the corners and you just cut away the bulkiness as you go. Then you just screw it back onto the chair and you're done. All right, it's time to pull the whole room together and I will link to as many product sources as I can in the description box below, as well as any DIY projects that are included in the room. I was lucky enough to find a place that had a master bedroom big enough to have a home office included. So I was able to use my DIY desk that I built shortly before moving. I welded the legs to that and I do have a video for that as well. And now for the outtakes. All right. Woo! Yep, I'm a mess. You can just focus, please. Hello and welcome to my channel. This is so annoying. No nope, face is here. Nice hair. Let's think about focusing, maybe. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So it is painting day. The room is pretty much prepped. Well, for the most part. <laughs> Hello everybody, I'm Erin Spain. No. Well, yeah, no, I am, but that's not what I meant to say. Okay, oh no. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin Spain and... <laughs> and that's all I know. That's all I know. <laughs> okay, oh my god. Oh lord. Okay, let's try this again. Let's try this again. Welp, gonna have plenty of outtakes for this video. And words are hard. They are, they are. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you can connect with me online at erinspain.com and on social media at erinspainblog. See you next time.